This afternoon, Omaha Starbucks employees are explaining why they're deciding to unionize. Also, an economist tells Six News about the possible impact for customers if the workers are successful. Our Bella Caracta has more. There were like three people and you'd be doing the job of like eight. Similar working conditions can be found at the 72nd and Dodge location, which serves up to 400 people a day, says another shift supervisor. When you accept the position, you know it's going to be a high paced intensive work environment, but it's stressful. Um, there's a lot of labor reductions that leave um, two or three partners doing the jobs of what should be five, six, seven people. I hate to say that we're fed up, but we are. The unionization effort of these two Starbucks locations doesn't shock UNO economics professor Christopher Decker. It's no surprise really when you have a labor shortage like we have here in Nebraska that there is interest in unionizing. The two locations are petitioning to join Starbucks Workers United, which represents about 360 U.S. stores, according to Reuters. That with each shift that I work after this, the more frustrated and impatient we have become. How does that affect customers? Decker says he doesn't think a big impact will be felt if the petitions to unionize go through. There could be some upward pressure on prices, but it is a pretty competitive industry locally. Zooming out and looking long term, increased wages for these employees could stimulate the local economy. But if profits are reduced too much due to operating costs, some branches could close, says Decker. The two shift supervisors say they hope this effort results in better staffing, benefits and wages. I love my job. I love uh, making connections with customers and I want to stay with a company at a job that allows me to do that. Um, but it's just really hard when the labor obligations prevent you from doing that. On your side in Omaha, Bella Caracta, 6 News. Each of the two locations will have separate vote of its employees next month. To unionize, 70% must vote in favor. We did hear from the coffee company today, and they offered this response to our story by saying in part, quote, We welcome the opportunity for partners at our 72nd and Dodge store in Omaha to vote in a neutral, secret ballot election conducted by the NLRB, which allows all partners to make their own informed decision regarding union representation, end quote. You can read the full statement from Starbucks over on our website, WOWT.com.